again there, YouTube. I'm Batman. <laughs> you got Fred Dasberg coming at you, playing a little Batman Arkham City on PC. Hooray, finally got released. Yay. Had a weird little bug too today. I just wouldn't all of a sudden start up, so I just shut down Steam and uh, start it back up again. So this is a mission from early on. Really no spoiler here, I'm, I would think. Um, other than maybe one of the characters you'll see as the mission unfolds here. But, you know, just wanted to show you you folks off uh, what's going on over here in PC land. And hey, did your Batman look like this? Or is this some, what some of the Batman videos that you recall from Xbox or PS3 looking like? Don't think so. And this is really one of the reasons why I've come uh, back in some ways to PC. And Well, the big thing is I built myself off bit of a monster and uh, plunk down a couple of G G's that uh, is needed to you know run all the to you know run all the gadgets and toys uh, of today and you know run something like this at uh, this high quality at uh, you know greater than 30 frames <laughs> yeah it's the only uh, it's still the only crappy thing especially considering how long PCs have been around for and the variety of equipment also is the cost barrier into getting into it because I tell you what, uh, there was a while there that there was uh, not too much of a difference between console and PC and in a lot of ways for us PC guys it was a little bit annoying because you know most of the games that were produced on PC and then ported over to console well they stopped doing that for for a lot of titles and it seems that the pendulum swung back the other way now and you have to excuse me because I'm, you know, searching around on a side mission here trying to figure out, hey, where the fuck's this crate at, by the way, man? What the, what? I don't get it. So you'll see me flashing back and forth to the map. So, but yeah, as you can see, you know, those paying, uh, paying attention, uh, this is, uh, yeah, <laughs> a, a zillion times better. In fact, the PC game just released on Tuesday, and the reason was that the, uh, you know, NVIDIA worked and uh, with the was a Rocksteady there. I uh, was playing around with the game a little bit to you know really uh, unlock the potential for uh, for PC players. So, and uh, what is it? Uh, you know, Xbox gets things early, but uh, I, you know for games like this, I think that's it was it the PC and PS3 versions were the ones to play because there's just more stuff going on. You see me flash again here back to your map. Uh, I, I will say, though, definitely, uh, this game is, uh, you know, I, I'm not that very far into it. What I've met maybe 5% into it. But considering what I've played so far this year, I'd have to give Arkham City my, uh, you know, my nod for Game of the Year, man. Because, wow, we it is pretty effing sweet. The, you know, just the, the freedom to move around with the missions and whatnot. Um, we got Skyrim going on. Skyrim's up there, too. Uh, my only issues with Skyrim are, man, there are a lot of bugs with it. You know, there was some really low quality control let that game out in the state it was. You know, probably, you know, we probably would have whined a little bit, uh, getting it a little bit late on PC, but it really could have used a couple of extra weeks to sort a few bugs out, because they got a, a major, pretty major patch is going to come out to sort that thing out. It crashes all the time on me. When I crank my audio settings up to the maximum of my PC, and then, uh, you know, I was playing it, and then all of a sudden I got into uh, one part with was it down in the some caves or something like that, and uh, I couldn't hear like a quarter of what people were talking about, and there was this weird, uh, you know, uh, sound going on in the background. It was, you know, in a game where you're supposed to listen to everybody talk, <laughs> and I tried putting on the uh, the subtitles, the old subtitles there, but. Uh, yeah, it didn't really help out too much because the subtitles don't really come out for everything. So as I kick these guys' asses, man, I just love this. This reminds me a bit of, uh, you know, one of my favorite games that I played um, over the years was uh, Jade Empire. And uh, this reminds me a lot of Jade Empire because it's the run around and, and uh, you know, in an open worldy type place and, you know, get to kick some my ass. <laughs> Plus you get to run around as Batman. You know what? i got to give it credit too because I'm not a very big... Uh, uh, DC Comics fan either, man. So, credit where credit's due, man. Good, you know, good on DC and good on Rocksteady so far from what I've seen. 
Um, haven't had too many issues. Like I said, I've only had the one issue where just all of a sudden it wouldn't start up. I don't know if that's because I was running fraps in the background and that stupid secure ROM uh, software on there. Yeah, check out the old, the old Bat Vision man. So I think I have to do a Superman game or something like that with all the, especially with the Superman movie coming out. That would be uh, mucho appreciado. So I want to thank, uh, also send a quick little thanks out to the many new subscribers I do have picked up. Thank you very much, guys. I do appreciate it. And then, again, I'm just doing this for, you know, the, you know, out of my spare time and the and the love of uh, gaming and just sharing that with you. Um, I've got my own business that uh, I generate my revenue from. <laughs> thank you very much. So, you know, right now as it stands, not making no money off this, just doing it for the love, man, and sharing that love with y'all. <laughs> and hopefully you enjoy the, my little touch of color correcting it here. Give that little extra pop. So anyways, just a little bit of uh, Arkham City gameplay again from PC early on. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, I know uh, the sports games have been quite popular, and all, uh, for me, and you know, because that's majorly what I do and been putting up. Um, it's just the state of sports gaming right now, man. Uh, maybe I'll get back in the place of FIFA. I'm really interested to see what happens with a, a patch of two to NBA 2K12, because would really like to see where the where they could take that to. Uh, just in its current statement, you can't play my player. Uh, what I, I had my guard that was playing uh, with the that got drafted by the next was pretty sweet, but I mean we end up they end up trading away Mellow, which okay um, is kind of believable, but they ended up getting a pretty decent trade for that, and then they trade away Amari Stoudemire. And they bring it, and they traded away Amari Stoudemire for Rudy Gay, and, and not only that, they were playing Rudy Gay at a shooting guard. It was just like, oh Jesus Christ, man! So I ended up stop. I I I just stopped playing the my player thing. Uh, me and my buddy were trying to play an online uh, association, and the stock gameplay settings, man, are just brutal. Um, doesn't matter what team you've got or who you're playing. You know, n nine and a half times out of ten. Kick your ass, buddy! <laughs> Nine and a half times out of ten, the damn game is uh, coming back on you. Uh, I've gone into the, you know, the end of the second half with uh, 20 point plus leads, and you know, ended up winning barely by two. It's just that stupid thing of uh, equalizing. Doesn't matter how good or bad you are at the game, the game's always going to keep it close at the end. It's just like, you know, I know a lot of NBA games do kind of come down to that. Uh, but if a team's down by more than 20 at the half, man, that is a, that is a lot to come back from, dude. Um, might get back into playing some NCAA, getting a, some hankering to play some football again. Uh, unfortunately, our little online league there sort of fell apart. Uh, our, our one boy, Jimmy, rage quit. <laughs> As we bug him now, rage quit out of it, so... Uh, he's been out of it. Uh, I'll have to talk to BA and see if he's interested in getting it started back up again. Uh, definitely do want to do another tips and strategies. At least one more, maybe two more of those. Uh, I know the last one was a little bit of pre uh, repetitive and uh, show you a little bit of the during season stuff and then the postseason as well. Um, just, you know, some t tips and strategies that I've learned over the years. I'm going to do this sneaky tank, dude. Fuck you, buddy. I'm Batman. <laughs> That was the bat signal. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, I wouldn't mind giving FIFA another swing again. It's just like, like I said, the thing that just absolutely drove me crazy about FIFA was still your guys don't go after the ball, and you can only control one of eleven guys at a, at a time, and it's really, really damn annoying uh, playing on defense. But uh, who was I watching? It's one of the guys. Uh, was it VX Baseball? It's uh, one of the other dudes who was in the slam dunk contest with, uh, uh, what do you call it there, uh, of sh uh, shakedowns. Uh, he had, uh, was it his ultimate team or just maybe his, his online play? And, uh, you know, I do love the way that you can set plays up and bing, bang, boom, bing, bang, boom, and up the field. A little bit unrealistic. 
um, <laughs> still unrealistically. You do got to kind of slow the gameplay down, I guess. Well, if you're playing online, you don't really get a choice to, so... But, uh, yeah, maybe do a little bit of FIFA, because I do the same thing in FIFA, too, eh? Is I'll, I'll take, a, uh, like a, a third-level team and bring them all the way up into the Premiership, and that's always a lot of fun, man, because that takes you, you know, because you only get six years or something like that. Yeah, this is the other cool thing, man, is, you know, Batman's just also not running around, you know, as, uh, uh, who was it, Thunder I was talking about? He is, uh... You know, he is a world-class detective, and there's the detective aspect of this game that they incorporated into it, which is Trey, Trey cool. You know, good on Rocksteady. Again, good on Rocksteady, man. It's got, got me looking forward to the future for, for a couple of these games. Uh, definitely got my hopes up for GTA V. Uh, you know, didn't play all the way through GTA IV, but, uh, you know, I think they tried a little bit too hard in that versus, you know, still San Andreas is my favorite. My buddy B.A. still go hit, you know, he loves Vice City. <laughs> it's his, still one of his probably his top favorite games. Anyways, guys, so this is uh, slowly wrapping up here. As I bust with some balloons. As you see, I'm following the, sh the shot of the... And we're going to scan the area here and figure out uh, who it is that fired that shot and killed dude right there. You know, he killed dude, but he wouldn't kill me. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you know, you got an open shot like that to take out Batman. Don't you kind of take it? Yeah, well. I guess comic books, huh? So, thanks for watching. Um, don't know what I'm going to hit you with next. You know, another game I've been playing the bag off of lately, too, is uh, F1 2011 on, uh, on PC. Man, that is a lot of fun. It definitely, man, is it so challenging because the F1 is not only it's a combination of not only precision and skill driving, but the absolute crazy breakneck speed that you drive at. Uh, good old left turn racing, NASCAR. Uh, got a brake bust out the wheel for that. Don't know if I want to get into that. Anyways though, folks, thanks for watching. Your good friend Dasberg. Again, trying to stay regular. Keeping you up to date with some gaming play. And we'll check you later there, YouTube.